Hey guys, Luke here, we're here to start a new series, one chapter ended with win one, take one, finishing, now a new one opens with uh, the Warriors career, mate, this is season three, uh, it's a little bit different to the other two seasons that we've done, which were all live comps, this is going to be in the same sort of format as win one, take one, where it's going to be two games, almost, it's more like the Southwood one, you might be more familiar with it, but back to my traditional um, routes of uh, career mode videos, now this episode is just gonna, all going to be all the preseason stuff, World Club Challenge in previous years. We'd won uh, the Premiership two years in a row. Now, the goal of the season before, season two, was to try and go through undefeated. We got up until like around 20-something-ish, and we ended up getting beat, throwing a lot of intercepts and that sort of stuff. This this year, I think we can really go the whole season undefeated. We can be the invincibles of the NRL. Um, and it all starts with, you know, Sean Johnson, who we just re-signed, just going through all the re-signings. Nathan Friend, we're getting rid of him. Not going to offer him a contract. I think Mara is, you know, decent enough. And hooker position's not that important on this game. Just need to be okay defending. Dane Nielsen, very good in this game. Resigned him. Lillyman, a little bit iffy on him, but for the price, I think he's definitely worth taking a risk on. Uh, Sandy Lafayette, it's just sort of um, stocking up on some backups, really, because um, some of the backups that we had before are asking ridiculous amounts. Um, like, uh, I'm trying to think of who, who he is. Um, got an A, like some of them asking for way more. Like, Michael Morgan, he's just signed here. Great player in this game. You know, was looking at, like, he signed for 145, where Godinay was asking for, like, 180s and that sort of stuff. And, like, they barely play, and it's not really worth it. So, some of those fringe players are gone. I don't think we lost any high-profile players. You can see right here. So, Lousy, Pallavi, uh, Godinay, they're out. Um, on that side, there is more. I'm still to come. So, okay, like, see, just all, all fringe players, apart from Nathan Friend and Russell Packer was never going to re-sign him. He's too much of a shithead to ever re-sign but I think the signings that we did make were quite strong. Obviously, none of them are really first-team sort of players. But, yeah, like I said, can't have enough, enough depth, in my opinion. Uh, moving on to the first game of the whole the whole series for, you know, Series 3. And we're going to be taking on Winners Vikings in the World Cup Challenge, which uh, I've got a very good record here in all career modes that I've ever done. I don't think I've ever lost this game, and I don't really plan to. Um, so Hoffman at fullback. You can see outside there. Bill Tupo coming onto the wing. Oh, well, other times I've been playing Fishy Ahi, and that was a mistake. Build Tupo is a gun, and that's all I'm going to say about that for now. But, yeah, a really, really good player. Sort of like an, another Manu Vadova on, so, on um, the other wing, if not better than Manu Vadova, uh, which is, you know, Manu's very good in this game, very strong, very fast, and uh, Build Tupo is a gun. See there, Mateo coming up with a huge hit in Reardon, and uh, bear with me, I don't really know too many of their witness players. I think Lilia... Uh, end up on on the end of a four pass there. Uh, Kevin Locke, who we still got in the 5 8 position, took to the line, sort of straightened up a little bit, and then threw the pass to Hurl. And, you know, I thought that was a really, really nice, well worked try. And uh, I think you'd be very happy if your team scored that in real life. Like, I really like scoring those sort of tries rather than the ones where you throw 10,000 offloads. And, um, yeah, I, I just like the ones where it looks like a proper play, not just a bunch of random stuff here. Uh, although, in saying that, I don't mind. The, you know, the random play here, as you saw there, Harold took it to the line, got tackled, a shitty offload, but benefited from it. Uh, now, Carney here, I'm not sure if that's a Justin Carney or someone like that. Um, he made a break, I can't remember, I think it was Tupo came on, came around with a legs tackle, which I really like doing the legs tackle uh, when there's a break. It just looks so cool, and I, I kind of want it to happen in the corner, because I know there is an animation where if they go on for the corner, you grab their legs and try and throw them out. Um, but it's never happened to me as of yet. Uh, Rapira is going to tackle tackle here off um, an offload by Nielsen. Mara is going to see the short side here, but the fork is going to come across and just drive him into touch here. Not initially, but eventually. Now, in real life, that would have been a penalty, but it is what it is, and they're, you know, into touch. Now, Tupo on the receiving end of a cut-up pass by that of I potentially, or was it Harrell? I'm not really sure, but Harrell's going to finish it off. Uh, just... Great link-up play from all those players. I think it was Vatavai who was over in the other wing. Um, just all around a great play there. And I think that pretty much seals it. Once we get to that sort of lead, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy to say that like we're not going to lose it. It doesn't happen too often. Unless we start throwing intercepts, that's the only way we're going to be losing games. Um, you see here, taken to the line, gets it to um, Henry off the bench here. Vatavai on the ball here in the center spot for some reason. Then gets it to Tupo, who uh, both the wingers linking up once again on the fourth tackle. So I'm not really sure why all the, the wingers are linking up, but they are, and it's perfectly fine with me. Bill Tupo scores um, first try for us. Uh, I'm not sure how many games I played with Bill Tupo um, in the seasons previous, but yeah, definitely going to keep him in the squad, and Sean Johnson converts um, his second goal after a shocking attempt just before that, and then Carney is going to get an offload away here to Davis, 
Davis is going to knock it on. And, you know, that was that was really the story for Witness. Uh, they made a little bit of offense, but not too much. And game ended at 16-0. Going to get the animation of us uh, celebrating into the scrapbook sort of photo. And I actually really like that. Um, it would have been nice if they could have saved that sort of photo in the game. You could have had a little bit of a scrapbook or something. Uh, in terms of trials, we're going to go into trials here and injuries and that sort of stuff. So we had a win against the Dragons. Dane Nielsen injured. Uh, Dane Nielsen really, really good in this game. So it's quite disappointing. And I'm not sure which Rapira that is as they're both S Rapiras. Um, but both of them are quite good. Then we had a win against the Eels with Peru uh, getting man of the match who came in for Nielsen. And uh, he'll also be in that game for the Cowboys. Uh, so that's where the video is going to end. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hope you can come back and see what round one's like. And uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, you can just leave a like, subscribe to the channel. 20 likes is what I'm going for. Um, yeah, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, at MrLukeMIT is my Twitter handle. And I'll see you for the next video. Bye, guys.